start off with a little snoring, sleepy bees you. Oh, sleepy bees you. Oh, little sleepy bees you. What do you think? Should we get started, Chloe? Oh, should we get started? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today, Chloe? There, hello, hello there. Here, show me what you. What are you? Oops, what are you wearing? Oh, what's you wearing? Pretty flowers. Oh yes, you are. That's part of what we're gonna talk about today, huh, Chloe? Oh, Bizu. Oh, you got such an eye booger. Oh, look at that eye booger. <laughs> That's quite the eye booger there. Hi guys. Hello there. I know, right? Humongous eye booger. <laughs> we need to clean that. She's been, um, we all have had really terrible allergies. Um, we've had some um, weird, like wet, um, spring weather so uh all of our allergies in the house have been terrible and with it comes like humongous eye boogers and i literally just cleaned her face and she just had another one so we've been putting lots of little drops and um stuff in her eyes and she was actually just at the vet the other day for her little eye boogers um so yeah she gets them a lot Chloe, do you want to come up and talk to, come here, do you want to come up and talk to everyone? Do you want to show everybody your eye boogers and your flowers? How's everybody doing today? Hi there. Hello. Happy March to everyone. Happy March. Hope everybody is getting some better weather, maybe. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. That wasn't very graceful, was it, Chloe? Uh, okay, so today we're uh, going to talk about, um, both for me and for Chloe, um, the fact that you can be, um, spring is coming, yay! Bella and Rosie say spring is coming and they're in Michigan, so you know when spring is coming to Michigan that it's got to be coming everywhere else, right? <laughs> um... Today we're going to talk about the fact that you can be stylish and comfortable at the same time. Oh, what's the matter, Chloe? What's the matter, girl? Oh, oh, no, you're not very comfortable on Mama's lap. Are you okay? She always, like, tries to slip off my lap. Usually I put, like, a bed down on my lap so she can kind of sit more comfortably. Oh, you guys show everybody your eye booger. Oh, it's such a monster eye book. Oh my goodness. Um, because although I wear high heels and I wear, um, Chloe and I like to be really fancy, uh, you can, the, the realistic part of it is that you can be stylish and comfortable. And there's lots of really great trends that uh, are popular right now that allow you to be both stylish and comfortable. So as always, I usually start with the human stuff and then we'll work our way into some of our suggestions for our cute little doggy pals. Oh, Chloe, should I put a blanket up? You're not very comfortable. Um, all the other little chitlins are upstairs. We're downstairs in our design studio, but I promise in some of the next um periscopes will have more of the little cuties down here sometimes it's just hard to get all of them down here at once and we have people working on our deck today we have a lot going on today so i just have chloe down here today so let's start with the human um trends that i'm loving this spring that allow you to be stylish and comfortable I am obsessed with the athleisure trend. 
And if any of you know what the athleisure trend means, uh, basically it, it means um, kind of looking effortless and sporty, but incorporating really stylish and um, maybe just a few little upscale touches to the outfit. So the first thing that I love from the athleisure trend are sweatpants. <laughs> Who would think that someone like me would say, oh my God, I love sweatpants. Here, Quill, I'm gonna let you down just for a second, okay? Okay, I'm gonna show everybody mommy still has sweatpants. So I um, like pearl, let's see, like pearls with my sweats. Um, I would wear pearls with sweats. I very seriously, I don't know if you're joking, but I very seriously would. And what I'm about to say is that you can wear sweats with heels, with high heels. So I love these little um, sweats because they're, um, they're comfortable and they're a nice, um, my little sweatpants here, they're a nice, um, gray and black, which means that it matches everything. And I love pairing sweatpants, something really slouchy and super comfortable with like a comfortable t-shirt, like a white t-shirt, and then throw on a moto jacket or throw on a blazer or um, put a really cool necklace with the t-shirt and the sweatpants. Matches everything but pug hair. Um, I think pug hair matches everything, so... <laughs> and if people don't like it, they're just gonna have to deal with it, so... <laughs> Um, but I got, so you can get really cute sweatpants almost anywhere. Even guys have the cutest, um, athleisure sweatpants that they can wear as well without looking super slouchy. Um, and you can wear, uh, sweats like this with high heels. You can wear them with cute little slip-ons. You can wear them with even cute little ballet flats. Sweats are just so versatile and extremely extremely comfortable especially if you're just going to brunch on Sunday mornings or if you're going out um, you know date night with the husband or boyfriend um, really really obsessed with sweatpants <laughs> so that's my first uh, piece of comfortable yet stylish clothing the next piece of, um, <laughs> there's hope for me. I, I'm a lover of my sweats. Yeah, and there's, there's a, you know, there's a, a point where you can wear your sweats at home and be comfortable and not give a crap what you wear them with. But then you can also, um, they're like dual action in your wardrobe. You can spice them up a little bit if you um, want to go out in them as well. The next a uh, piece that I absolutely am obsessed with, and it's been, uh, especially ever since um, I had my foot surgery, I just got really lucky that they happened to be super trendy right around the time that I was having foot surgery, and that would be sneakers, sneaks. So here, I'm gonna pull the camera, or I'm gonna um, step back for a second. I'm gonna show you my outfit today because I'm incorporating one of the pieces into my outfit today. So I have a dress on, a lace dress on, a blazer, but I have sneakers. <laughs> I'm pulling a, um, what's that 80s movie? M Melanie Griffith uh, from the 80s when they used to wear, <laughs> they used to wear their sneakers with their like pencil skirts. Um, but it's above and beyond that. So these sneakers, here I'll show you guys, don't mind the floor, it's actually really dirty, so... These sneakers have um, like a really cute like metallic part of them and they're just really really comfortable. I am partial personally to Adidas 
but that's because my husband works for Adidas. So um, I end up seeing a lot of Adidas stuff and really liking it. Nike also has amazing, comfortable, really, really cute shoes. Um, and they're so easy to wear with dresses, with shorts. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See, it's those allergies. Um, dresses, shorts, even sweats. I wear um, these shoes with leggings. <coughs> oh my goodness. Muscoozy. Um, so sneaks, sneaks are, sneakers are, um, part of what I think, uh, should be in everybody's wardrobe this spring to be stylish and comfortable. And somebody was mentioning, I don't know if actually, if Wendy is on here right now, Wendy from Simon Bella, she was telling us about how she got these really cute, um, she was wearing these really, really adorable Disneyland. I think they were Nikes. I'll have to ask her again. Um, but she was wearing these really, really cute sneakers. And she said that she got Tinkerbell ones and that they were bright green. Oh, I love bright shoes and she was saying she was like oh I don't know if I can wear them so cute Br the brighter the shoe um I think the more it, it adds to the outfit I don't know if I necessarily would wear like you know bright green shoes with um like bootleg jeans or straight leg jeans but I would definitely wear um lime green bright lime green shoes with like some really cute leggings so it's all about um, definitely being comfortable, but finding a way that it works into the outfit. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, what a terrible time to all of a sudden have a cough. Awkward. <laughs> okay, next up. <laughs> I'm going to talk again about sweats, except for sweatshirts. So this is um, a sweatshirt that I got <coughs> from um, Banana Republic for really, really cheap. It was just on sale, it was like 20 bucks. And it is the cutest thing to wear with almost everything. So you can wear um, sweatshirts on top like this, which, oh my gosh, look at this. On the inside, it's just so comfy and cozy. And I wear this quite a bit. You know, wear this with a pair of really cute slouchy boyfriend jeans and a pair of cute flats and a necklace. And you're good to go. Super comfortable, but super stylish. Super effortless but super stylish. Um, put this with, uh, again, a blazer. Um, I wear this a lot with skirts. Uh, so a sweatshirt like this is an excellent way to kind of transition from um, winter into spring and look very well put together, but comfortable and warm. Cause you know, in the spring, it still gets a little bit chilly. So sweatshirts <clears throat> last but not least and this is something that has um, definitely been on you'll see it's been on my blog and it's been on my Instagram they're my um, new favorite obsession but I have for a long time I've always loved leggings I've worn leggings probably for the past decade and um, whether you know it's it's underneath a dress or a tunic or um, just to work out I love 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 leggings and I remember a long time ago there's like this outrage this outcry <laughs> that leggings are not pants but they are they are to me I love leggings I would live in leggings I don't live in jeans I don't think jeans are like they can be comfortable, but I'm not going to sit at my sewing machine for eight hours a day in jeans. I am going to sit at my sewing machine for eight hours a day in my pug leggings. <laughs> so I love these. And I know that <clears throat> I put them on the blog, 
but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how um, comfortable they are. Society 6, yes, Ink Pug, Ink Pug. Um, Society6.com is where we got these leggings. I actually got them for Christmas. But if you guys go on to Society6.com, they have the best leggings ever. What they do is they work with artists like Ink Pug and they uh, translate the art onto leggings. So there is like a ton of Pug leggings. <clears throat> yes, um, I love them. I have the duvet cover with that print. Yes, I've seen that before. I love, well, I love Ink Pug, but I also love Society6 because they allow artists like Ink Pug um, to give us some pretty rad clothes. So I love these. These are um, really thick, which is what I need. I'm getting older, you guys, and I definitely need, I, I can't be wearing flimsy, thin leggings anymore. Um, so these are super thick, super stretchy, extremely, extremely comfortable, like a, kind of like a second skin. Um, they stay cool when you are hot, like they wick the sweat away, um, but they're also warm when it's cooler outside. So. <clears throat> Society 6 pug leggings and they have all different kinds of dogs so it's not just pugs um, and they also have all different kinds of prints too so I think personally prints on leggings are the way to go I do wear solid color print or uh, solid color leggings um, but I think that's less forgiving I feel like if you wear a print on your leggings it's not um, you know people kind of think the opposite they're like oh my gosh it's gonna bring attention to my legs what a print on your leggings will actually do is um, for me anyway mask some of my problem areas some of my cellulite or um, some of my areas that <laughs> I'm currently working on and try not to eat um, so many Twix candy bars to add to. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like, you know, if you feel like super self-conscious in a pair of leggings, then get a tunic or get an extra long. I have actually several extra long hoodies that sometimes I wear with my leggings and that's definitely the way to go too. So leggings, that rounds off um, the list of, oh, and actually, uh, going back to the leggings, I actually, um, have been known to wear heels with leggings too, to go out on like, um, I don't know, a Friday night. So even with like these, I, I seriously, I would wear these. I would uh, throw on a longer t-shirt, uh, a moto jacket, like a faux leather jacket and a pair of black heels and it'd be cute. So just add that little two cents into there too. <laughs> um, okay, so that rounds off the human stuff that I'm obsessed with this spring that's comfortable and stylish. The um, Moving on to the items for Chloe. Let's see if we can pull her back up here. Chloe, does she want to come back up now? Does she want to come back up and show everyone? <clears throat> The first on our list, and you'll see that um, this has actually, it's covered in pug hair. It's, it's been used a lot, <laughs> and I've talked about them a lot, but I am seriously so obsessed, you guys, with Winston Manor harnesses, and um, it, it almost sounds as if they, um, once again, it sounds as if they paid me to um, say so many nice things about them because I feel like I talk about them all the time. But I am so in love with the construction of the harnesses. And I know a lot of people on Instagram and Twitter already have Winston Manor. But um, the reason, if you, if you haven't gotten a Winston Manor harness yet, there are a couple reasons why I love them so much. The first is because it's truly so, so comfortable on our pugs. So oftentimes we'll get harnesses that aren't long enough and then it cuts into their armpits. 
Um, and especially in the humidity, it creates these awful blisters in our pug's armpits. So this is long enough so that it sits at a nice spot on their back without giving them blisters, but allowing enough control so that I can walk them and not be afraid that they'll come out of the harness. You can adjust the Y on the back. So this harness fits Rukia and Chloe. I can toggle back and forth between a couple different pugs in this harness. And she has, the owner um, of Winston Manor has such a good eye for fashion. All of their harnesses are so stylish and well-made. You can just pop this on your pug and off you go. And they already look super nice. You know, there's nothing extra that you have to um, do to make them look super stylish. We love this one. I think this one is last year's, but I'm pretty sure that they still sell it. It's a really um, popular one for little girls. This is velvet right here. This little lining is like the soft velvet. Um, and I don't know. It's just, it's so easy. I absolutely love Winston Manor. She's out of Australia, so it does take a couple weeks to get to the U.S., but it's definitely worth the the money. She, Chloe Bisu is about 22 pounds and she wears a medium. So, um, and she has all the sizing stuff on uh, the website. So that is winstonmanor.com. Winston Manor. Okay, my next favorite obsession this spring is a, a new brand on the scene and um, we've been longtime friends with them. We absolutely adore the heck out of them and they just started this really cute new company that I absolutely love. And I would, um, I'm not gonna give like all the details about um, who they are, so I would definitely recommend you going on to their Facebook or their Twitter and kind of seeing their story. Um, but I am in love with Bella Rose Creations. And that is what Chloe Bisu is actually wearing today. So they're at BRP, so Bella Rose Pug Creations on Twitter and Facebook. And here's what they're making. They are <clears throat> making these adorable neck corsages. Perfect for the wedding season coming up. So if, say, you have a dog that is going to be um, in your wedding or in somebody's wedding um, this spring or summer, this is an excellent way to um, just pop something on them. No muss, no fuss, and it's absolutely beautiful. Pugs always look super cute in flowers, I have to say. Like, I've been putting um, little flowers on Chloe Bisou for forever. I love, love, love pugs and flowers. So this is just such a nice, um, they're, they're beautifully constructed. Here's the really cool part. So you can see, I'll pull Chloe up here in just a second. I'll show you guys, but you can also see on the blog, she's wearing um, this on the blog this week too. So you can see that um, it's on a neck band that she sends out. It's super cute. I don't know if you can see if it's gold it's like gold and, and um, cream. But then here's the really cool part. So she puts these really cool snaps. Take out the snaps. Take it out. Grab a collar of your choice. And you can just snap it onto. Ta da! Snap it onto the collar. Easy peasy. So that way, oops, I put that on backwards. <laughs> that way um, you can just put it on the collar or even there are some harnesses too that you can just snap it onto the neck of the, the harness and it stays really, really nicely. But look how pretty these are with like the little embellishments. And I, um, I think she's actually here today. Her name is Tracy. Tracy, can you tell us, um, are you making some of your own flowers now? Because I think I saw that she she was actually constructing some of her flowers. Hi, hi Tracy, hello there from Bella Rose Creations. 
Um, but you can email her, visit her Facebook or Twitter. Okay, so she did make some. Well, I'll let you guys contact her if you want a corsage. And actually, she's making really cute boys um, boutonnieres as well. So once again, for weddings, special occasions, pug prom, whatever the case may be, these are absolutely perfect. Even for just jaunting around town, going to brunch, or you know, going out and about to an event. Um, but you can visit her Facebook or her Twitter and then um, she has her email and contact information and they're all custom orders. So she, she takes into account your pug's neck measurements and um, you know what, what, you're, what you're looking for. Love them, love them, they're beautiful. Here, let's, let's show you Chloe's. Oh, come here, my little love bug. Oh, come here. She's so sleepy. See how pretty this one is, though, too? And, you know, they look kind of cute sitting on the side, or you can put them on the back. They're just really, really well made. And this little band is so cute. It's silver and blue. So adorable. Super cute. <laughs> okay, next up... Um, and this is for boys or girls, kind of like um, Bella Rose Creations, where she makes the corsages for the girls and the boutonnieres for boys. Um, and I'm sure that you guys all know um, who these, um, these people are, but we have two favorite bow tie places. So bow ties obviously are some of the best ways, the easiest ways to make a boy pug look kind of dressed up, but still comfortable. So we're going to start with curly tail ties and um, they've been around for at least a year, curly tail ties. And what's really cool about them Curly Tail Ties on Etsy, they have a new um, thing called the um, Curly Crew Club. Curly Crew Club. And it's a box where, a monthly box, where you get three bow ties a month. So for $25, you get three bow ties and they're all exclusive bow ties. So they're not bow ties that you would see um, sold anywhere else in her shop or um, not any other bow ties that you would see, you know, regularly on other little puggies. So they're kind of one of a kind. They're kind of exclusive. So uh, she just introduced that this spring. If you're interested in that, be sure to um, visit Curly Tail Ties on Etsy. Um, we just, I don't know, I, I love her little preppy feel. They're good, sturdy, durable little bow ties. They're just really, really cute. And they stay in place, you know, they're cute. The other bow tie place that we absolutely love and she had a really really big day today so that was molly's potique molly's potique.com and she just introduced her entire spring collection today so be sure to visit her instagram molly's potique on instagram and what's really cool about uh, what molly's potique does is she does uh, bow ties for both girls and boys so she makes some of them um kind of cute and feminine for um feminine enough for the cute little girls to wear too because girls can wear bow ties um, Chloe prefers to wear her bow ties on her head, <laughs> but girls definitely look really, really cute in bow ties too. So this is one of the little bow ties that we got from, uh, Molly's Patique. But Molly's Patique, uh, is really cute with embellishments and she just does a really, really great job. They both have curly tail and Molly's Patique both have, um, 
We have a Hello Kitty one. Oh, that's so cute. That's right. Yes, the Hello Kitty one for the girls. That one is so cute. I love that one. Um, both of them have really great shipping and um, they're uh, just both amazing people. Good peeps. So bow ties, another way to um, just pop something on your pug really quick or your doggy or even your cat really quick and it makes them look stylish, um, but it's comfortable. The last, um, I know all pug peeps are good peeps. I agree. <laughs> the last little thing that, um, and I don't know where, where did it go, Chloe? Where did mommy put your, oh my goodness, you guys. Mommy, mommy lost one of her little things. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Cause it's, it's another important one. Um, we think that, Let's see here. Let's see if I can find it. Sorry, guys. Oh, here we go. Okay. Pearls. A strand of beautiful pearls. That's another really easy way. Sometimes I'll walk Chloe down to the post office and I'll just pop on a cute little strand or two of pearls. And you can see like the Pugdashians are um, really cute with these pearls. Um, but we plan to um, have an announcement with the spring collection um, that involves these little pink pearls. So we're really excited to um, to kind of introduce these for the, the spring collection. But they're, um, once again, such an easy way to, um, you know, be stylish and uh, Chloe hardly even knows that they're on. So, all right, so that rounds up. We had a lot. We had a lot of things for little doggies to wear that are stylish and comfortable. Uh, do you guys have any uh, questions for us about anything that we just talked about? Maybe I should run through these really quick. So Molly's Potik. She just introduced her spring collection today. She's on Instagram. She has really cute bow ties for her spring collection. They're adorable. Kind of in love with them. Uh, curly tail ties on Etsy. They now have a uh, box that you can buy. Such a genius idea, especially if you want something fresh and new every month. Really good price. Because normally bow ties are about 10 bucks a piece. So 25 bucks for three. Kind of smart. Um, Bella Rose Creations for corsages. And boutonnieres. Society6.com for leggings. And WinstonManor.com for our favorite harness. All right, guys. Well, I'm sure I didn't tell you anything all that new. Um, just because, you know, all of us in the pug community kind of love the same um, stuff. Um, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun just to remind everybody. Um, we will have an announcement about our spring collection, uh, which will be coming out um April 4th, we're hoping. Um, so that's kind of a tentative soft date, April 4th. Um, but it'll be uh, an announcement about how we're going to release the spring collection and, and what, what we're doing to um, kind of involve um, other people in our collection and um, so on and so forth. Does anybody have any birthdays or anything they'd like to share? Oh, thank you. Hey, um, that reminds me. I need to, I'm going to email you um, Tuesday. I'll email you. Because <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that, that um, we're touching base with you guys. Uh, any birthdays? Any announcements this week? I'm trying to think if there's any good stuff. Um, otherwise, <gasps> when is your birthday, Humphrey? Do we know this? I'm so terrible with remembering birthdays. Do 
we know this? Yeah, ha happy. Oh, next Monday. Oh, happy early birthday, Humphrey. Oh my goodness. Yeah, how old? How old will you be and will you get a cake? Or ice cream? Or a pup cake? Oh my gosh, two years old? Humphrey, you're such a youngin. <laughs> you're such a little youngin. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to uh, jet out. Yes, you do need a cake. You need a big, delicious apple peanut butter cake. Um, we're going to jet out. Chloe's kind of sleepy today. Next week, I promise we'll play with the doggies. Next week. Um, yes, a three-tier cake. <laughs> Oh, Humphrey, I'm a newer model. So that means mommy had pugs before you. I think we're going to have generations of pugs too. <laughs> many, many generations of puggies. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to jet out. I have a very, very busy night of sewing ahead of me. Um, next week, I promise. In fact, maybe next week I'll just make the focus. Um playing with the doggies and getting gooey and rukia. Uh, everybody's been kind of sleepy today. Chloe definitely is a little bit sleepy today. So next week we'll have some fun with the puggies. Maybe we'll do another Mad Lib or something. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, yes, of course, of course. Thank you so much for, um, you know, talking with us, being here with us. As always, we upload these on YouTube, so if you need to see any of the information again and fast forward through anything, um, we'll have that up on YouTube. And you can always visit the Stylish Bizu for further information. And um, you can also always contact me by email if you need anything. Otherwise, um, have a wonderful uh, first week in March, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, you guys.